Welcome to Mudbox 2009 tutorial number 2 by Flash Building. In this lesson we'll go over importing custom models into your scene to make any shape model you need uh, or body style that you might want to start with raw polygon structure. Uh, if these default uh, mesh models don't suit your needs you can create your own mesh models that are exactly what you need all the exact shapes and intricacies that you need so you can go into uh, let's close that out and uh, there are let's see there's several programs that you can use to create yours but I'm gonna use Maya you can be in Google SketchUp or any type of program that exports OBJ files it has to be a dot OBJ object file for uh, in order for Mudbox 2009 to bring it in so let's go into Maya let's create a a custom shape. Okay, now if you want to know what I'm doing, if you happen to have Maya, I just created a polygon cube. Now I'm going to also create a curve, and it's the EP curve tool. Zoom out a little bit. I'm going to draw out my curve. Zoom out a little more. A little more. Yeah, that's a good curve. Now let's take this little square of this cube and make him a little bit bigger. That should be good right there. And then you can uh, go to where you can look at that face and then grab. Let's make him a little smaller. And what you want to do is right click the object, select face, grab that face, and then press shift on your keyboard and grab the curve as well. And with them both selected, you go up to edit polygons and extrude face. And what that did was it brought that face out to the end of my curve point. Now that I have that, I can go into divisions here and subdivide it. Let me just bring it up a little to see it better. See how I'm subdividing? and when you subdivide more and more and more it makes the polygon count higher throughout that and then you uh, you can twist it and add a taper to it if you like make it bigger or smaller in the end I'll make it smaller and then you can go to let's see let's just right click it go back to object mode selector select it go up to polygon smooth so now you can see I've got a nice snake looking thing there so this is how you could create a custom snake easily there's a tutorial for you in Maya okay so uh, or hair or fingers or whatever you're gonna make that has to have um, a nice curve to it well I guess fingers wouldn't have that curve but you can make fingers with this uh, that little lesson right there without taking the taper so far and the twisting and all that you know what I mean alright so we'll uh, we're in object mode we'll just select that item and then go to file export selection and save it as snake and it's going to be an object file you see down here obj export that makes an object file and put it on my desktop press export go back into mud box go to file import double click snake go to find it on your computer and double click snake or whatever you named it as and then you'll notice that it's super tiny so we'll go ahead and zoom out zoom out some more and a little more that's good and then we'll go to scale First, we gotta select it. Object, scale, and then just go ahead and drag that either way to scale it up or down. And because that would have been way too small to sculpt on, now we have a nice big model there. Let's zoom out a little bit. There. Now you have a nice big model to to begin your your uh, custom model sculpting.
to detail it and then uh, there's all kind of things you can do with it from there but that that concludes importing custom objects and custom shape meshes that you need and custom forms in order to to really get the the uh, intricacies that you need okay and uh, the next lesson in lesson number three we're gonna start sculpting we'll show you the tools really quick and then we won't take too much time on the tools and then we'll just head straight into sculpting alright we'll see you guys next lesson